Hello, my name is Jarek Dobrzeński and I work for SkyTech. I would like to present you our approach to counting cars in high resolution satellite imagery using density estimation and transfer learning. At SkyTech we provide software solutions for space and insurance industry and one of our flagship products, React, deals with monitoring of port terminals for risk accumulation. To do that, we are trying to provide a picture of value stored port side. The most valuable items stored in ports are containers and cars. The currently available satellite imagery is impressive, but still a bit problematic when it comes to application of uh, existing uh, machine learning techniques and models used for object detection in images. So for this project, we're trying to answer the question, would it be possible to count cars in densely populated parking areas uh, in the cargo terminals using uh, existing satellite imagery? So as we already said, counting small objects in high resolution satellite imagery is hard. Um, and then there's no public available annotated data sets, existing data sets, with resolution matching satellite imagery. There's also difficulty in establishing the ground truth because uh, counting the cars manually on that type of uh, imagery it's, is quite prone to errors. We started from examining the existing literature, um, focusing on the topics like uh, image detection, image segmentation, crowd counting, because there are some interesting approaches using uh, density estimation. We examined uh, VGG, UNET, MCCN and ResNet models as potential candidates uh, to use in our project. And we took a special interest in transfer learning to see if it would be possible to perform a transfer from, uh, from the domain of very high resolution aerial imagery into the domain of satellite imagery. Most of the big cargo terminals in the world at the moment is covered uh, with a really high resolution Google imagery. The resolution typically is uh, 15 centimeters per pixel. Um, and in the first stage of our work, we decided to build a car counting model that will work for high resolution aerial imagery. So for this uh, we acquired the imagery for 27 representative port terminals. Then we did a manual annotation on certain subsample of that images and we perform a validation of that annotations as an additional QA. As part of that process we build a tool for validating human annotations. And then we took the uh, images that were labeled uh, and converted them into density maps. The next step was to train the model for aerial imagery. For this we used uh, a custom deep multi-column convolutional neural network. We used Adam optimizer and we used ReLU activation on all the layers apart from the final one where uh, the linear activation was used. We used Javier initializer and we trained the data we, and we trained the model for a total of 1000 epochs. The results were very good. Uh, we achieved a correlation of coefficient of 19% uh, and our value of 96%. So that was a really good first step. This is just an example that shows how heat map of the actual image is uh, being represented as a density map. Then the next step, uh, once we had a really good model, was to use it to generate more ground truth. From there we proceed with a generation of synthetic data set. So to make inference on satellite grade image resolution, uh, the aerial images were downscaled to match the resolution of SkySat satellite that we used in this project. 
Then the model was trained with the downscaled images. This is the step where the transfer learning was used uh, to leverage existing model. The model was initialized with the weights uh, of the previous aerial model that we used. This time we did uh, 1400 epochs of training um, and the R value, R2 value achieved was 0.95, which is very good as well. So to sum up our approach, we started from generating high resolution data set, then we proceed with the manual annotation of uh, part of it, then we automated the annotation of the rest of the data, we've generated the lower resolution data set, so the synthetic images, then we trained the low resolution inference model, that could be then used to perform inference on uh, satellite grade resolution imagery. We also used uh, uh, super resolution to improve the quality of satellite images uh, and uh, to be able to perform the manual counts for the verification purposes. Thank you very much. I encourage you to visit skytech.com to learn more about uh, our company and our work.